Welcome to the channel. We're going to do something a little different today. Uh, I always get a lot of questions about my dogs, so, well, let's answer some. I'm going to go around all my dogs and tell you everything I know about them. And uh, that way, if somebody asks, I can say, hey, man, go check out that video. And the first one is Miss Libby Lou. Here goes Miss Millie. Can we come over here and, and put you in the movie? Yeah, let me get the chair. Yeah. Hey, don't pull my britches down. Okay. I'm gonna put you in the movie. Hang on. Miss Libby. I got Miss Libby eight years ago. Yeah. And you were about a year and a half. Maybe two years old, but I think you was closer to a year and a half. And she was in a dog pound in Oklahoma, actually where I grew up in Oklahoma. And so I, without even seeing her, I said, yeah, and they were scheduled to put her down the next day. So I went, somebody met me halfway between there and here and had her ever since. She is very difficult. Not everybody can handle this dog, trust me. But as you can see, she's sweet natured, but she's a, <laughs> you're a firecracker, ain't you? Yeah, you're full of it. And you don't reach in her dog house when she's in there, and you do not reach for her food. She will take your hand completely off. That's one thing you gotta learn with her. So I don't trust anyone else. That's why I don't go anywhere would be very hard for somebody else to take care of her and I, I don't, wouldn't want to risk her you know that person getting bit because you're a biter ain't you yeah but she loves attention and she does not get along well with the other dogs so that's why she has this kennel and she wouldn't even have this if I didn't have a major highway out there but I got to do that so she goes for walks twice a day, big long walks, anywhere she wants to go. I walk her on a leash. It's just what it is, man. And that's that's Libby Lou Dean. Yeah. Did you want to say something? You're real quiet right now. We're gonna go for our walk here in about an hour. I gotta go interview the other ones, okay? And I gotta go interview everyone else. All right. And that is Miss Tilly. Now she's not my dog. She lives across, she, I guess she belongs to the guy up the hill there, but I'll never see her go over there, but she spends most of her days here, her and Millie. And I feed her, make sure she's got water. And I've wormed her and got her flea and tick uh, protection. That's Miss Tilly. We're gonna get to you, boy. All right, who do we got next? This is Miss Rooster. Yeah. I got Miss Rooster, let me see, 2000, about seven years ago. And Rooster is a Jack, long-haired Jack Russell Terrier. Yeah, she's got personality, don't you? And she was in a shelter in Georgia. And when at the shelter, sometimes we would take dogs from other states. Uh, it's something that's pretty common that shelters do. So I walked in the next morning and there she was. And I said, man, and I'd been looking for a little dog for in the house, you know, to stay in the house with me. And there she was, took her home that day, had her ever since. Uh, she will not let another dog in the house, trust me. That is her domain. She ain't gonna stand for it. Are you? Especially if they look at your toys. Yeah, she's very spoiled. As you can see, she has several beds. They all have to be in certain places. Yep. That's Miss Rooster. And she is about eight years old. Yeah, see, you don't like red trucks. She's eight years old. That's 
Alright, this here is Waldo. Waldo's an 11 year old beagle. You wouldn't know he's 11. He still acts like a puppy. Don't you? He's a good boy. Now I got Waldo the very first day I moved to Arkansas. I woke up that next morning and him and his sister were playing in the front yard at the person's where I was staying. And uh, I named them and I said I'm going to keep them. Had them ever since. And uh, his sister died in 2017. I will go over there in a minute to the grave. Yeah, but he kind of adopted Lily. She was a puppy and they've been together ever since. You love Miss Lily, don't you? We well, you got junk in your eye. Let's get the junk out of your eye. Yep. And he likes to do beagle things. And beagles are a different kind of breed. They're fun to have. Alright, that's Waldo the Gooch. And this girl is Lily. Now, Lily... Uh, somebody brought a box of puppies in that were found in the National Forest and there was I think 14 of them You already had your interview Waldo And Lily was the only one that wasn't black And she was the feistiest one so I took her uh, She is nine Don't know what breed she is I really have no clue All the other ones look like hounds but she had the little short ears would you gonna look up here and you're quite chunky yeah you're quite chunky she's got a black streak down her back what but she's scared of everything I mean everything if you know she can look at the floor and be scared of it she's always been that way but she's a pretty mild-mannered girl ain't you Lily yeah, she don't like fireworks. They were doing fireworks back there last night. She didn't like that at all. Yeah, that's Lily. When did I get you? 2014 I got her. So yeah, she's about nine. Somewhere in there. Yeah. I've had her since she was eight weeks old. And they're starting to show age in their face, you know. What? Is that good? Eating that nasty old mud? You taught her that, boy. Alright, we're gonna go see, sister, see Lucy, your sister. There's Miss Melly. She's not my dog either, but she hangs out here. Don't you, Melly? Just had your supper. You're silly. All right, this is Lucy's grave. That's Waldo's sister. Yeah, lost her in 2017. Uh, I mean, it was sudden. I came out and there she was laying there. Uh, I took her to the vet. The vet checked her out and said, yeah, I think her stomach got twisted. Something that happens to dogs. Uh, so she didn't have the long life that Waldo was having. And uh, she was my favorite. I mean, she was very, she, if I was out there sitting, she'd be in my lap all the time. And then, here we got Wally. He was the last one to pass away. Actually, that's supposed to be 2021. He was a walker hound. Uh, he had a massive fear of thunder and lightning, gunshots. I mean, to the point where he would destroy things and uh sorry about that but he was a good boy he was a walker hound and he did not get along well with waldo he was fixed and i lost him in may he would just dig so much he, he'd cut himself up and lose blood i'd be at work come home and there'd be blood everywhere you know and he just eventually he lost so much blood that he just you know i guess the vet said his organs would would shut down you know there he would he'd heal up and then he'd recover but it does you know i don't know but when there's a dog like that you gotta put him on cdb oil or something you know but he just he nothing worked on wally pretty sad but he he still lived nine years 
10 years I think so yeah 2012 is when I got him he showed up as a puppy dug his way into the yard full of other dogs had him ever since this is Miss Lulu's grave she did pass in 2020 uh, I think she wore herself out because every day all day she would chase bugs <laughs> uh, she had kidney failure uh, they didn't catch it in time I guess and uh, so yeah we lost her but she was a character I had to uh, lure her to me with a cheeseburger she was uh, hanging out at the ranch I worked at and so eventually I caught her took her home uh, she didn't do well around other dogs but I gave her a nice piece of property and she had her dog house and so she had a good life so and she was a beagle too all right that's Miss Lulu and these other graves are my brother's dogs there's two buried here that don't have markers and then this dog here as you can see here this is the yard i built for them all it's plenty big i had six dogs in here at once uh now they got the dog apartment they can go into they have also have dog houses a shade shelter but uh if i opened the gate and let him out he wouldn't know what to do he wouldn't he wouldn't leave he wouldn't leave for long but the highway there you know i just watched one get hit the other day one of them people's dogs over there so i don't let my dogs run run around the highway i wish i could let them run but i just don't have the property that's allowing that yeah that's my dogs man and look at this stuff guys you just can't kill this sage my stuff still surviving this stuff something else oh that's finally gone looks like that rosemary or uh yeah rosemary one of them's rosemary looks like that's hanging on and of course we got waddles the rooster that walks like a duck because he was born with a birth defect what do you think waddles your tail feathers ain't growing back yet, huh? He got in a scrap with a possum about a month ago. I took care of that problem. The possum, he don't come around here no more. You gonna move, Waddles? He don't care. Yep. Had him about three years. And there you have it. There, There's my dogs. Uh... You know, a lot of people, they don't agree with keeping dogs in yards and things like that. You probably don't have six dogs either, you know. So, it's you're not going to bring these breeds in the house. I mean, Waldo would tear everything up. They're happy being outside. They've always been outside all their lives. Uh, you know, dogs aren't made to be inside. That's just, they're, they're not humans, okay? Now, there there's a lot of breeds that we have created... You know, in a, like especially in the smaller dog breed, yeah, they got to be inside. You know, you're not going to have a Chihuahua running around in 20 degrees, but some of these other dogs, they're they're perfectly comfortable in that. But you see that I make mine as comfortable as I can. You know, and all you can, it's all you can do. You know, I spent all that time building that thing for Libby. She never even used it because it didn't bother her. But you know, you got to give them hay and dog houses, and they'll be fine. Uh, that's my dogs figured i'd explain a little more about some of them and just a short video you know that has some information on them all right guys happy trails <laughs>